Uh, my name is Ali John Paul. I'm a pastor, and uh, this is my fifth child. He's a boy. When he was born, I went to the hospital. I found uh, him with the mother. I was scared because in my life, I've never seen such a, a kind, such a kind of a child. And when I saw the child, I asked uh, the woman. Did you leave the bed? So somebody came and replaced my child, or is my child? She told me that I've not left uh, since I, I gave birth. Then I was surprised. I walked away, asked myself, what kind of a name can I give the child? Because all names disappeared. Uh, the, the child was born with uh, both a lip, palate, and a cleft. And, uh, it, it was so strange because the mouth was wide and was scary. When I, because I'm a pastor, when I, I went home with the child, so the congregation came to, to visit the child. So I was somehow hiding the child. I stopped many people from accessing the child, but later on, I opened up and I, I asked God, if you have given me this child as a test, I will love the child more than others. So I started growing closer to the child. And, uh, the child was mal malnourished because the child was not feeding, breastfeeding, and even other food. So the weight reduced, and uh, the child could not eat. So I was rushed to, to Kisi referral. There we, we stayed for one month and two weeks until the outbreak of Corona is when I was brought home. And uh, when I, we came back home, he, he was now 6.5 kgs, but the operation needs around 10 kgs. So the child started feeding on uh, uh, using a pipe. After that, I went back, back to the hospital I uh, was given oxygen, uh, blood, and water. I took the child to Kisumu. The child was operated uh, this place, the, the, the lip one. So I'm now back for the cleft palate, which is the inner one. And the child could not talk well because when he is speaking, uh, the pronunciation you cannot when you are keen is when you can understand. The child is three, three years old. Yes. What is that? Cleveland Favor. Yes. And how does other children look at? Yeah, when, when he was born, uh, even uh, the, uh, the, the, the siblings, the, the fellow, children, uh, fellow sisters and brothers, they were scared about reaching to the child. Who, who is this? Mama, who is this? <laughs> he's not our child. He's not from this family. So many were looking down upon the child. But later on, they start loving the child because the child is energetic, eating very well, playing, romantic. So that, yeah. My name is Dr. Daphne Nyairo. I'm a plastic surgery resident in the University of Nairobi. Cleft lip is a defect. It's a congenital birth defect, which means the child is born with it. Uh, where the lips or the palate, the palate being the roof of the mouth, is not uh, complete. There is a defect so that uh, the upper lip does not fuse. Sometimes it's only the lip, sometimes it's the lip and the palate, or the palate only. Uh, cleft lips uh, come with uh, a few challenges, the most common being uh, breastfeeding, especially in patients who have a cleft palate, because then they're not able to suction properly, and therefore the mothers have to be shown how to feed the child alternatively. Either express the milk and feed or uh, supplement. Yes, uh, they can be diagnosed by the routine ultrasounds that are done. 
um, in the uh, in utero or uh, it can be diagnosed when the child is born. Sometimes you might not be able to see it if it's just the palate alone or if it's uh, submucous where the skin is okay but the muscles inside are separated. Um, one of the challenges they would face as they grow is that uh, their speech does not develop well because you need your lips and you need your palate to pronounce some of the letters and so when they don't have a tight seal some of the letters are difficult so they have speech delays or speech abnormalities which if uh, surgery is done and speech therapy is used early enough can be corrected. There, it's a common condition. Uh, maybe just to tell the parents who have children with cleft lip or palate, it's very treatable. You know, it looks a bit uh, scary and unusual, but it's very correctable. And after surgery, the child lives a normal, near normal life. My name is Jennifer Mutune. I am the Secretariat for the Kenya Society of Plastics, Reconstructive and Aesthetic Surgeons. Um, it was, it's a society that was um, formed 12 years ago uh, with the aim of like-minded surgeons who thought that the plastic surgery should be taken to the international levels. Um, we are in Home Bay County as one of our areas that we chose to come and do the cleft lip and palate to be here for the week. Uh, it's because it's the vocal point for this catchment and we thought it has the, capaci the capacity and the ability to be able to follow up on patients. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's actually the first time that we're here and uh, the response was really positive. We look forward to coming back again uh, once we get the patients. So. My name is Dr. Amos Dulo. I'm the Deputy Director for Curative and Rehabilitative Services in Homer Bay County. These are some of the conditions that uh, our citizens from Homer Bay have needed to leave the county and go and seek care from outside. Uh, most of our patients from Homer Bay uh, normally go to Moi Hospital in Eldoret or uh, Kenyatta Hospital in Nairobi to seek these services. It is very expensive for them to go travel to Nairobi to be seen in the clinic and then get booked for surgery and finally go back and do the surgery and all the attendant costs associated with uh, moving to Nairobi or Eldoret and this being a rural county with um, uh, poor financial strength of most of the households. It has been a major challenge and uh, this surgery is very important because it's life-changing. Uh, these children have facial defects. Uh, not only is it uh, aesthetically unpleasing but it also gives them complications with breathing and feeding and um, we believe and we know that uh, once this surgery is done, their quality of life is going to improve significantly. And all these things we are doing are in a bid and in an effort to improve the quality of healthcare in Homer Bay County.